What's up, everybody? Frobus here with another episode of Magic Tools Origins, and you know what? We're done with the uh, the, the last one, the, the Boros. We're we're moving on to uh, Boros. Uh, this is the deck that uh, Legend VD or Legend V, Legend Five. I actually really like. I was looking at his name, and I don't actually know how to pronounce it, but whatever. Let's go with v Legend VD. Uh, he just put this out. You can go over to his channel. I guess I can link it over there. And um, not that he needs the, <laughs> the views, but hey, if he wants them, he can have them. Um, this is uh, card for card his deck. He he just put, posted this a uh, couple days ago, I think. Um, and it's just he called it Valor Tokens. Uh, I think I can improve it. Put the put the little Fravis touch into it. Uh, you guys know how I don't like playing the meta. I hate uh, I hate winning decks. I hate well, I don't hate winning decks. I, I I like decks that like have massive turnarounds, and I don't feel like this deck actually has massive turnarounds. But I'm gonna play it anyway because it looks interesting. Uh, there hasn't really been a token deck, uh, around in this game yet. Not, not like a, no, there hasn't, right? Uh, this is sort of the, the middle. Uh, the first, this, this is the, the key card right here, Valor of Akros. The first thing I'd say that it's, uh, missing, which I would love to see, is that, uh, red enchantment that, that, oh, there it is, there it is, this guy. I, I, I mean, doesn't this, like, just scream, hey, guess what? You, you should, you should play me because triple the tokens and that's just sinks the hell out of this and... Oh, I don't know. I feel like I, I'm not sure what White is doing in here. Like White, that you get the double strike, you get this stupid thing. I, I mean, all right, Valor of Akros. That that's what it's doing. I don't know. I, I feel like Black or Blue would be better, or maybe just all. Maybe we should just do like a five color token deck. Holy crap! Can you imagine that? Oh wow. Okay. Anyway, all right. Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let Let's get in there. Let's see if this deck can actually perform. Uh, under, I mean, obviously it can because he's already he's already played it, and I haven't actually watched his full video. Um, but I'm, I assume, since he does heavy editing, that um, two at least out of three of his games were were wins because that's the only thing he likes to post are heavily edited wins. Um, not not so much me, but. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll go about this. Well, we're going up against a rank 26, so hopefully he doesn't give a shit about ranks, just like me, and maybe this guy's my kindred spirit. Okay, this is, uh, uh, I have plays, so I will keep this. I mean, white is actually that important anymore. We're not playing any of those double white spells, so my initial, like, feeling of, like, oh my god, where the hell's my white is, is just left over from the last deck we were playing, and <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think I'm done with that for, for the time being. Uh, unless you guys have any interesting, uh, you know, tidbits, I, I can definitely go back to it. I, I'm not, like, opposed, but uh, I'm just going to drop these guys right now because I have nothing that it'll sync with in my hand, and I might as well get a, a board presence at the, at the moment. I got a Twin Bolt and Fiery Impulse open next turn, and if I do get a do get a Planes, I'll probably drop probably the Double Striker over the... Well, I don't know. It depends what he drops, actually. If he puts down a creature, I'll probably put down... Oh, okay. Well, he, he'll do nothing. Um, then I'll just swing for two. So far, this deck hasn't done anything. It's just autopiloting. But then again, my opponent has not done anything either. So it's not really the deck's fault or even my fault or anybody's fault. But I have missed a land drop, which is pretty hard. Wait, did my opponent miss a land drop? Who played first? Oh, shit. I don't even know who played first. He may have missed a land drop or may not have. I don't know. Catacomb comes in untapped. That's a creature. Um, I can actually get rid of that right now. I have Spell Mastery. <laughs> That'd be funny. Do I do that pre-combat? I will actually do that pre-combat uh, so I can get in for all my damage. I think it's better that way, personally. Otherwise, he would have blocked, and then I would have had to hit it when he blocked so I can keep my token alive and... Ugh, then I would have been down one more damage. So this way it's a little bit faster, but not necessarily the right move. Who knows? Okay, another three in the ass. Those are hard to deal with right now. I uh, really do need another land. Why, why do I always find myself in these positions where I'm just, like, dying for lands? <laughs> just dying for lands, right? It's a joke. I can't do anything. Hang on. What what, what, what do we got here? What, what What's going on? He needs lifelink. He absolutely controls a swamp. Okay. Do I just bash in? I don't think I can. I really can't. I really, really can't, actually. That's not happening. Now, he can spend his turn giving himself lifelink and, and slowly going up. It won't help him. 
unfortunately. Which is fine by me, because I'm beating him in this race. If that's what he wants to do, I'm happy for him to do that. Well, I guess it's not spinning his turn, it's only two. For some reason, I thought it was the same cost as that regenerating troll, and that would have only left him with two mana open, so he actually can have a play here. And he does, he has another one. And they both have lifelink <clears throat> whenever he wants it. Not today. Well, this sucks. Hey, look, it's a Gilgate. I love playing Gilgates. They're so good. Cool. Okay, looks like it's going to be a quadruple block here. <laughs> I mean, he'll only be able to kill two of them. That's 50% of my board. I mean, I can actually clean the board up here. I feel like it's a three for two. Which is not the best. Just swing it with everything, dude. Why wouldn't you swing in with everything? Yeah, I'm... I mean, I didn't want to do this. This is kind of lame. God, I hate... I hate, I hate controlling this. Alright. Uh, uh, what do you got? What do you got? Oh, lifelink. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't care about that. You can go back up to 18. And then we're pretty much tied. I can one for one him. Oh, I can't clear the board. Oh, am I kidding? All right, we can we can kind of, ooh, that's good to see. That's good to see. That's not bad. What do I feel like doing here? All right, um, sorry guys, I gotta think for a second. No, I'm gonna clean his board, fuck that. Fuck the world. Fuck the world, that thing is a fucking beast in the butt. Hard to get rid of. Draw two cards, fine, whatever. Finally. Alright. Now we're actually on even grounds. Well, not really. I have a slight advantage, even though he has a slight uh, land advantage, but now I can actually cast my shit. Although I do have a ton of three drop. Well, I only have two three drops, but I have a four drop too. So do you think Pia Pe and Kieran next turn? Or. Or the free blade and leave the twin bolt open? I'll only leave the twin bolt open if he has something, like, that scares me. Otherwise, I'm actually thinking more... Oh. Double strike, huh? Okay, well, this means I'm going to swing in. If he blocks, I'll hit it with the Twin Bolt, and he will die. Uh, I can't play both of these, because I only have one white source. What are you doing? Oh, you're blocking. Boosh! That's it for her. Don't know why he blocked there. I had open red. That was kind of silly. Well, this is my only play now, so that's what I'll do. That was not a good block on his part. I, I don't know why. It's, it's one damage. He was at 18. It's like, who cares? I would just let that through. I mean, your priority at that point when you have a when you have a Planeswalker who can flip is to flip that fucking Planeswalker, man. You, you want her to flip. You don't want to put her in the line of fire. So, strongly disagree. There's nothing here that I want to play pre-combat. I am going to get a guy with Renown, which is kind of nice. I'm thinking Eroa's Champion, since that's more damage than Pia and Karen, technically. And now I just have a whole bunch of value cards here. And by value, I mean they shit out Thopters. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I'm glad I didn't put the Pia and Karen down then. Okay, yeah, I should have seen that coming, I guess. But again, that's that's why I didn't put down what I put down. Uh, actually, this is the play now, for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely, because this will give. Oh wow, all right, <laughs> you're countering a two two drop. Uh, that's okay, honestly. Uh, if you were gonna counter one of my cards, that's the card I would have preferred you to counter. Uh, that would have gotten me a Sigil of Valor, which would have essentially given the tokens uh, haste. Essentially. Not not technically, but essentially haste. You're running so many tokens in this deck, I wonder why you're not doing the uh, token lord, which is confusing to me. So, what are the odds? I'm going to hold off on the P and Karen again. And I'm just going to let these guys do some work. He's playing really heavy control, and I'm not seeing any creatures from him. I mean, look how many, look how much land he has on the board there. And he's got, like, five cards in hand. He had four cards in hand last turn. And he's not playing anything. Like, there's nothing seriously hitting the field. 
So that means he's got a hand full of this, this shit. Just nothing but removal. And... Uh, that means I don't want to be just dropping all these creatures over and over again. Uh, I will do this. Uh, another option would have been P and Karen, but I want to I want to play until he gets rid rid of all his uh, removal first before I drop a P and Karen. Yeah, removing this card is not going to stop that token from showing up. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Oh, was he thinking of uh, of trying to counter it? He missed that. Missed that opportunity. Okay. That's that's acceptable. If he wants to... Oh, he can't languish here, can he? Did he already play a languish? He played one. Did he play both of them? No, he did not. He only played one. Okay. Just checking. Just checking. Heavy control from this guy. Super duper heavy control. And not much else. Honestly... Oh, that's that's a really good and and now I don't have any uh, removal so uh, I didn't put them on those cards and most people do not play those cards even though those cards are kind of cool uh, and that combo is super fucking rad so this is probably over <laughs> uh, I do not have any bombs in this entire deck other than that one enchantment yeah there's nothing I can really do here I don't I don't even see what I could draw that would get me out of this situation. Hmm. Oh, well the, hey, there's one. <laughs> ha ho! Okay. Whenever it becomes a target, you can gain control of it. Uh-huh. Hmm. So who do I want more? <laughs> so Okay, wait. We we got to see how many sorceries and shit he's got. One, he's only have he only has one in his deck or in his graveyard, so he can only do one of these things. Counter unless I pay one. I can pay one. Tap or untap. Okay, yeah, that is acceptable to me. There, therefore, the three four is gonna stay. I'm popping that guy. If you choose to counter it, I will... Aw, oh, shit. Well, that's okay, too. I mean, at least I get him back for this turn. And that will also give him another... Another sort... Uh, another instant in his graveyard, which is kind of poops. So, good play from him there. Still don't see how I'm going to be able to get through this. This is actually... Gonna be kind of tough for me. Yep, that's coming back down. He's probably gonna tap a couple of my guys again and gain control of them, then swing in. He's gonna grab the 2-2 two -two and the 1-1 one -one flyer again. But when he's done with this... Oh, he's untapping them. He doesn't have to tap them. That's, of course, obviously. But when he's done with this, that's it for his instants and sorcery. So that thing is just gonna be a 3-4 for, for the time being. For the time being. And now he's going to swing in for three. Yep. And now I think P and Karen come down. And if he can counter it, I'm in trouble. But there's only one win condition. In the Why did I swing first? This is so dumb. Now I'm losing everything. <laughs> Why did I swing first? Why did I swing at all? That was not clever of me. I could have just not done anything. That was not... Did I throw the game there? I may have. I may have thrown it out. I mean, I prevented a bit of damage coming my way, I guess. I don't know. Control players make you think, man. I, I'm, I'm sort of distracted here. Wondering what this guy's got. By the way, this guy, you have a name, and it is Fillion. Refillion. Refill me key finger refillion. Refingering. Yeah, on the PN Karen. Uh it's dead anyway. He doesn't actually get to keep that. That's one of the problems with that card. 
100% control, win condition being uh, mythic cards in his... Um, I'm gonna just take that. I don't give a shit. Holy crap. I mean, I could. I'll, I'll lose three of my guys if I quadruple blocked, but I'm not gonna do that. Damn, man. He had nothing but removal in his hand. It's gone. Getting hit for one. He can eat two of my cards again. Um, I'm gonna hold off on the Topin Free Blade since that's gonna be a target of his. I guess I could now. I no, it, it it wouldn't even be good for blocking. Oh, there's a bomb of his. Okay, uh, I have no removal to deal with that. I I would have the best I could do is a two for one, where I can like twin bolt and then that um, that four damage sorcery card. But uh, that's it, man. That's it. I don't have jack shit. This deck did nothing for me. <laughs> At the very best I could have done. The very best would have been... Would have given me two more creatures on my side of the field. But I don't... I mean, yeah, there's nothing... I'm not... I have nothing to do. Like, there's just... I was just sitting there waiting to lose at that point. Well, that was a, a very poor performance. Didn't care for that at all. What a shitty deck. <laughs> I, I had nothing. I had like a whole... It, this is the same problem as the last uh, deck I had. It's like we're trying to make a rush deck, but it can't rush. It doesn't... I mean, it needs to have that uh, that uh, enchantment out in play. Turn three, minimum. Otherwise, you just lose, right? Like, to control players. You're slower than regular aggro players. Speaking of which, here's one now. And you're... And, and you don't have enough creatures for to, to outpace a control player. Mid-range players are going to wall you off. What, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to go wide here. I get that. But there's nothing here to help me go wide. Alright, this is... I mean... Th th this just shits out a couple of guys with, with evasion. And then I have some removal spells, which I assume is not supposed to go to the face, it's supposed to keep the board clean. But maybe maybe some of these can go to the face, actually. I mean, that's not out of the, uh, unreasonable. And Kithian's tactics, yeah, that's supposed to mean you're supposed to go really wide with a bunch of creatures. But look how many creatures I have. Two. Two creatures in my hand. So, and, and this is double white. <laughs> my favorite fucking combination of colors, which is white and another white. Hey, speak of the devil, that's okay then. Um, do I do this now? I'm gonna do this main phase now because uh, next next turn he could have a wild size or something and, and stop that from happening. Not that he would necessarily wild size, but regardless, it's happening. And I don't. I mean, if since if he was playing mono red, I would think that I, I would I would play it on his his turn. Look, all right, I would play the twin bolt on his turn if he was playing mono red, because mono red has a bunch of instant speed pump, pump spells. And that would help me ruin them. But since he's playing a splash of green in here, let's see what he's playing. He's got removal, land destruction, and land fetch. Okay, so he's just playing the regular old gruel deck. Um, since he was playing green, he could have uh, instant speed ass pumping. <laughs> if that means <laughs> ass pumps. That's nice. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Am I just completely rambling right now? I already have two sources of white, so let's put down this one creature that I have. Next turn, I'm actually able to put down P and Karen, which would be super nice. And I'd be able to use a Kithian's Tactics. Okay, I think this is uh, how the deck is supposed to be working out now. This is looking a lot better now. And then I can actually send this over to the face, even if he blocks with uh, whatever the hell that stupid thing is. Alright. Alright, I'm into this. This is much more aggro-y than, than last game. He, he still has another play here, if he wants to. He does have another play here. He chose not to play it, whatever it is. It could be an instant. Um, I know he's running Twin Bolts. 
Hmm. I'm gonna swing in first. See if he see if he shoots me with that twin bolt that might be in his hand. He could. I'd be happy if he did. He does, good, because Pia and Karen were coming out next, and I didn't want them to get twin bolted. If not Pia and Karen, the dragon fodder also could have been coming down. Neither of which I would rather have well, I guess I'd rather have the dragon fodder ping than the than the gear crafter, because gear crafter hits for two. But still. Steel. That's what I prefer. I feel like if this deck wants to go wide, it should have that red enchantment that essentially doubles the uh, the tokens that you have. But he didn't do that, did he? So, fuck the world. Yep, let me do that here. Don't know if he, there's a block here. Um, there is, okay. That tells me that he doesn't have any pump spells in his hand. So that makes me pretty happy. So I am going to drop... Actually, he could have... No, he can't have a board wipe. The only red board wipe, he'd have to put a creature down and cast it, which he definitely can't do. Unless it's a one drop. Acid Moss! That's not going to help you. It doesn't matter what he pops, either. Because I have, I have the mana base for everything. And is that game? Let me count. Oh, God, I hate counting. The worst thing in the world is counting. So what's so what's I got? Two, four, six, and then um, two, four, six. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's just pop this. I don't know how much damage that is. It's a lot. Is it game? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Probably gonna be game. Oh, uh, did he leave? No, he did not leave. I can cast a twin bolt after this. If, if for whatever reason, if this doesn't kill him, <laughs> then the twin bolt probably will. It didn't kill him. Holy shit! No! No! There we go! GG, son! Oh, you left last second. Come on, you didn't even you didn't even see my last bit of it! Come on! You didn't you didn't even see the best part! It's the best part, man! Aw, alright, fine. Didn't want it. I guess I deck out. Not not last second though. If he pulls the win out of the very last second, I'll just watch it. Unless I'm really salty. Do you think he was salty? Actually, you know what? I was popping a lot of his creatures, so maybe he was pretty salty. But he popped some of mine, so that should have made him happy. I would hate to get hit with that kind of hammer. Holy shit, look at that hammer. It's got like four prongs on you. I feel like that would get stuck in armor. That would be like the worst weapon to have. Like, you take that out into the battlefield, you hit somebody in like the, the plate mail with that shit. It gets stuck in there, now what? Now you don't have a weapon. It's stuck in the corpse of some asshole. <laughs> now you're like, oh wait, wait guys, hang on. Pause, blow your whistle. I gotta get this out. Anybody, anybody have a crowbar? No? No, sucks. Too bad, man. Maybe maybe that's why... Maybe that's why we don't play elaborate weapons on, on real Battlefield. Well, that's not entirely true. Some, some weapons can be pretty elaborate, but most of them... The most effective weapons are the simplest. Fire! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit, that's a bad card for me. Twin Bolt. Gotta Twin Bolt it. Let me think about this. Uh, I'm not going to put anything down. I actually, I could, I could play Goblin Fodder. And he'd only be able to kill one of them. But what's the point? I mean, it's going to... Half of this card is going to die anyway. No, fuck this. This is stupid. I'm not going to waste any of my damn cards. I'm just going to Twin Bolt on his turn. He can, he'll swing in. I'll get, I'll go to 19. He chose not to do that. Don't know why. That was wrong. And now I can just kill both of these guys. He should have done that post-combat. Then he would have gotten another damage in there. That was very wrong. Always put your creatures down second main unless you have a really good reason. Because then shit like this happens. And he didn't... He could. I could be down to 17 right now and he, he screwed it up. Uh, definitely the play is Thopter Engineer. Actually, it could have been Aroa's champion. That would have been more. Whoa, hello. Someone's on my phone, and I have a feeling they're going to be talking to me for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and hide that for a little bit. <sighs> oh, hey, there, there's a damage for you. <clears throat> he has a Rogue's Passage. 
That's weird. Oh, he's stuck on mana, too. That sucks, man. That sucks. Sorry, dude. I know the feels. But he's not getting hit for that much, so I guess it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Eroa's champion? Let's see. He's only got three lands out. Yeah, this is. I, th I think this is pretty safe. This is safe for now. Not sure what he can do here. Oh, Azorius, okay. Telling time. Probably gonna grab him a a, 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 a land, actually, because I know he's stuck on him. Probably another island if he has the choice. Yeah. Oh, boy. Sorry, guys. A little tired. So that's a bit of damage. That's what, 4, 5, 6? So he's at 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. He's actually at 3 life right now. Can I do 3 life to him next turn? No, actually, you know what? I should have I should have hit Kithian's tactics. Fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, uh, tell you what, I'm gonna do this now, because I almost have him dead. Next turn, I will Kithian Tactics, whether he has a creature or not, and then the turn after that, we'll get the win with Exquisite Firecraft. I should have Kithian Tactics this turn. Alright, that's not gonna help you. Not gonna help. You're still on the same clock. You're going down to one now. Oh wait, can I do one more damage to him? Oh, uh, I don't think I can. It's just one damage. Nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Oh shit, that was a sorcery. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Why isn't this a combat trick, honestly? This is stupid. Ugh, fine, whatever. Sorcery. I, I never play with that damn thing. Whatever, fine. You're at one. Deal with my creatures. I don't even need to play it, actually. Fuck it. Oh no! I wonder which creature I'm gonna get to keep. Son of a bitch. See, this fucks me up, man. <laughs> if I had played Kithian's Tactics, he'd be dead right now. Oh well. And I don't even have the Haster. There's absolutely nothing I can do. Unless I draw a Twin Bolt. What did you... What? 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 Why? You done goofed. Oh, sorry, man. That, no. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Because I had to keep... Oh, because it was an... Oh, right. No, I know what happened. God damn it. I'm sorry, man. No, he had to do that. Because he had to choose a... Uh... He had to choose... An artifact. Is that 30 minutes? It is 30 minutes. Alright guys, that was the uh, that was the, the episode. Uh, one more real quick rundown of this guy. Just just to just to take a peeky peek pook. Just to take a peeky peek pook. Uh, never really saw Denison come out as relevant. This guy died instantaneously to a counter spell. Uh, the free blade is pretty useful. Sigil of Valor should be useful in theory, but I feel like there's not enough token generation in this deck. Maybe put in more removal in the forms of Twin Bolt and Fiery Impulse and remove these low cost creatures. At that same time, these low cost creatures did do a lot of help with us. I, I don't feel like this is a token deck. I I you have token cards in here, but it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't feel like it's a token deck. That's the problem. That's that's just really my main, my main problem. I feel like... I feel like the best way to make a token deck in these colors is to go green. And I am going to give that a shot. If not today, probably next week. But whatever. Alright, guys. Uh, that'll do it for this episode. Love you guys. Let me know in the comments if I uh, made any misplays. I probably did this episode. I didn't feel like I did, but I may have this episode. Uh, if you want to do a game with me or whatever, just hit me up. You don't have to put it in the comments. Just PM me or something. I don't know how to PM in YouTube, frankly, and may maybe even if you do, I'll, I'll never get it. So, actually, it it probably the best way to do it is actually to hit the comments. Sorry. <laughs> 
Um, and I'll see you guys next time.